Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. In this video, I'm going to go through the steps to make homemade cinnamon rolls, also known as cinnamon buns. This recipe makes 12 to 16 rolls. The first step is to melt 4 ounces of butter in 1 half cup of milk. Do this over low heat to prevent the mixture from boiling. I use a wood spoon to hold the butter in contact with the bottom of the pan. As soon as the butter has completely melted, remove the pan from the heat and allow the mixture to cool between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The remaining ingredients for the dough are two large eggs, preferably at room temperature, four to four and a half cups of all-purpose flour or pastry flour, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, one half cup of warm water between 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and one quarter ounce of instant yeast. In a large bowl or stand mixer bowl, combine the warm water, yeast, sugar, and eggs. If using a stand mixer, install the paddle attachment, mix on low to medium speed until the mixture is well combined. Next, add the warm butter and milk and two cups of flour. Mix on low to medium speed about one minute to thoroughly blend. Do not over mix. If you're using a stand mixer, remove the paddle and switch to the dough hook. If you're not using a stand mixer, you'll have to manually knead the dough. Add two cups of flour and knead on medium speed eight to 10 minutes. If the dough is too soft to cling to the hook, add flour one tablespoon at a time until the dough clings to the hook and clears the side of the bowl. After eight to 10 minutes of kneading, the dough should clear the bowl and easily come off of the hook. Lightly spray a medium sized bowl with cooking spray and transfer the dough to the bowl. Cover with plastic wrap and if the room is cold, cover with a blanket and place in a draft free area to rise until double in bulk. This will take about one and a half to two hours. For the cinnamon filling, Combine two-thirds cup of packed brown sugar with two to three tablespoons of cinnamon. Adjust the amount of cinnamon to taste. To guide me rolling out the dough, I like to draw a 12 by 16 inch rectangle on the back of a sheet of parchment paper. Uncover the risen dough and transfer the dough from your bowl to your work surface. Shape the dough into a rectangle and then use a rolling pin to roll out the dough to a 12 by 16 inch rectangle. Distribute the filling over the dough, leaving a 1 half to 1 inch area along a far edge. Using both hands, roll the dough beginning at the long edge nearest you and pinch the dough lightly with your fingers as you roll. Use a bread knife or serrated knife to cut the dough into 12 to 16 pieces and transfer the pieces to a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Using parchment paper will simplify cleanup. Cover the baking sheet with plastic wrap and allow the rolls to rise until double in bulk, about one and a half to two hours. Place a rack in the middle of your oven and preheat to 350 degrees F. Bake 18 to 20 minutes or until lightly browned or the center reaches 185 to 188 degrees. Transfer the rolls on the parchment paper to a wire rack Turn the rolls over and allow the hot filling to cool at least 10 minutes. Meanwhile, make the icing if desired by combining two cups of powdered sugar with three to five tablespoons of milk, depending on the desired consistency. Use a fork or whisk to mix the sugar and milk until smooth. Turn the rolls over and ice if desired. I prefer a runny icing that I can drizzle so I can control the amount of icing on the rolls. Your homemade cinnamon rolls are ready to enjoy, or you can cool the rolls, freeze them, and reheat them at a later date. One large cinnamon roll has about 390 calories, five grams of saturated fat, 85 milligrams of sodium, and two grams of fiber. Enjoy them in moderation. Thank you for watching.